Hello. Hi. We're back. <laughs> been a, a few weeks, isn't it? <laughs> a nice four-week break. Yes. And uh, it's been really nice, hasn't it? It's, uh, yeah. We've just had a complete rest. Been a bit self-indulgent, I suppose. Done artwork, weaving and... Walking. Walking. And we've travelled from where to where? I think the last time we put a video up, we were actually in Whitchurch when the video went up on the uh, Langothlin Canal. So from there, we've actually gone onto the Shropshire Union, and then onto the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union to Middlewich. Uh, saw the boat. Yes. Yeah. When we got there, they'd just started the internal fittings, the putting the panel up on the walls and the ceiling. But that was uh, three That's weeks been three ago. That's three weeks yeah. ago now, so hopefully, fingers crossed, there's a lot more work being done since then. And then we came back onto the Shropshire Union and turned south, and we've gone through some lovely little towns, some lovely countryside, and we've now just left Market Drayton, heading towards... I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed, has it? Gno nozzle. Gnozzle. No, gnozzle. Yeah. Yes. Nozzle. Uh, so, um, we've got five locks to do today and uh, just a few miles. But what a day that we've chosen. Beautiful to, day. We stayed put for a couple of days because it's been raining again um, and didn't fancy moving and decided to go today and it's been just glorious. The autumn colours... We've just been through a little bit of a cutting, haven't we? And yeah. uh, the, the trees and the banks and the mosses. And here she goes again, waxing lyrical. <laughs> but it is just the, the best. These are my favourite cruising days. Absolutely. So um, we've got a lot, quite a lot of footage from before that I'll show you now. And uh, normal service will be resumed. So we're going a little bit further down this canal, not too much further. I'm going to shoot and see family before the dreaded lockdown comes back and stops us from doing anything. And then we're going to turn around and head back to see the boat again. And all the places that we've seen and perhaps, you know, sorted out for good filming, we can do on the way back. Yeah. Um, there is one lock closed, actually, on the 20th, isn't it? It's going to be repaired. I reckon yeah. it's closed for a week. Hopefully it will just be a week, but you can never tell. It might actually be partly our fault because we got grounded coming down between these locks leaking so badly and I phoned CRT and the next day they were closed. <laughs> like only during the day for certain hours. It's it wasn't our fault that so they were leaking. Bad. No, we didn't do anything. <laughs> We just reported it. And I think um, sometimes boaters, we all moan about stuff and don't report it. And I guess we, we all have a duty to report every problem, every problem like that. And then it gets sorted. So we don't quite know what's happening, do we? So that's us up to date. Nothing much has happened since. Um, there's a boat behind us coming up, oh. two locks behind. So I think we better get cracking and get these last two locks done. Yes. So thanks for hanging on, waiting for us. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, see you later. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see from up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free
Well, we've had a really good trip into Whitchurch, which is a lovely little town, lots of independent shops. Um, it's a bit of a walk from the canal, but not too far. I'm absolutely dead chuffed because we found a refill shop. Um, we actually knew it was there. We found it last time, so we've gone back deliberately. Um, called Refill Your Boots. And if you're anywhere near, I thoroughly recommend it. We've taken our big container in and we've refilled only half refilled with washing up liquid from a dispenser because we couldn't carry any more. So we've had this container about three years now. We just get it refilled whenever we can. That will last us forever. Um, just some organic bread flour. A wood and bristle, natural bristle nail brush, little mini one. Some Eco-friendly shampoo. I didn't have a dispenser, so I've had to buy a glass bottle for it. But you can take your own bottles and get washing up liquid detergents, soaps, everything refilled from big dispensers. And they had loads of loose tea, coffee, nuts, cereal. And you can take your own containers or they just put them in bags. And I think we just bought some... Oh... Gluten-free jumbo oats. We didn't buy very many of them for some reason. No. <laughs> and um, some turmeric because they've even got all the spices loose and you can just either take little bottles in and have as much or a little as you want. Um, we couldn't carry too much more, but a fantastic shop. I thoroughly recommend it. We're dead chuffed. What are they called? Refill your boots. We're not getting anything for this promotion, by no, the way. No, we're not. We're just so impressed. They're such lovely people and they're really doing a wonderful thing. A plastic-free shop um, with all organic and natural stuff and um, just brilliant. Husband and wife team, aren't they? Yes. And I think he'd like to live on a narrowboat. And she's going to take some convincing. She's not convinced at all, is she? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, but give them a look if you're near here. Here we are. Debbie, Mark, cheers. Cheers. What a wonderful dinner. Thank cheers. you. Cheers. 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 We spent a lovely couple of days moored up behind Mark and Deborah from Well Deck Diaries. Lovely to see you folks again and uh, all the best and see you soon. Bye. Bye. You'll remember we bought our boat just over two years ago from Boatman Benjamin. Well, he's back on the cut with a new boat. A little, I don't know how long it is, 40 footer, based on a working boat from the 70s. And it's really quirky and it just suits his character. Anyway, Fran uh, wove a scarf for uh, him, which he gave to his lovely wife, Shelley. And in return, he composed some music for us. Such a talented guy, unbelievable. So uh, any music from now on in this video will be by Boatman Benjamin and we'll feature it in videos to come. So thanks Benjamin, that's absolutely brilliant. And uh, go and follow his channel, give him a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. That's the end of other channel plugs now. On with our channel.
So here we are at the end of the Langoslin Canal. We're at Hurlston Lux. And we're in the queue behind uh, to come down the four locks. That's been a bit of a journey, a bit of an adventure. We've really enjoyed it, but we're now pleased that we're moving on. But you can see here, this is why the canal moves so quickly. If you remember when we were in Langothlin, we showed you the water coming in from the River Dee. And this is where it comes out into the Hurlston Reservoir to feed the towns of Nantwich and Crewe with their domestic water supply. Here we are going in the first of the four locks at Hurlston. And there's Colin, our volunteer lock keeper, helping us through, who is also a viewer of the channel. Oops. <laughs> Oh, well, that's that done. The Langoslin Canal in two and a half months. Most people take a week over it, don't they, Fred? Well, some people take a week over it, but uh, we still haven't done it all. We didn't go down the Cree's branch. Oh, that's about 200 yards, I think. I know, but I was just speaking to a man who is moored permanently in Swanley Marina, and he said it's really lovely if you just turn into Cree's branch, really peaceful. Because the only people that go down there are those that are going down to the boat, boat yard. yard at the bottom, yeah. um, and it's really nice. So I guess we're just going to have to go back again. Out of uh, season. Yeah, winter time would be lovely. Well, here we are at Alton Moss Boats, and uh, we're going in to have a look at the boats. Yes, so excited. Always are, aren't we? But, <laughs> really uh, excited. Yes, go and see what's going on. We can hear noises going on, and we keep saying always oh, that our boat. We've been here for about three days and kept looking over, but we can't see it, and we've <laughs> restrained ourselves from snooping. But um, <laughs> they started work on the lining out today, so uh, let's go and have a look. There's lots of bits and bobs already made up. What we got here? <laughs> Forgotten already. Wardrobe. Wardrobe. Work kitchen surface, work. kitchen work surface. Part of the dinette. And bathroom vanity unit. Bathroom vanity unit, look at that. And actually, what's been behind here, we actually have your dinette ends. Oh, and it ends for the dinette. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, the boat's nearly done, hun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what do you think so far? Beautiful, it's just can't wait. More excited than ever now. So we've chosen the colours for we've the chosen paint. The paintwork, the fabric, the um, worktop, the flooring. Tiles, we've got to choose We've tiles, got to yeah. choose tiles, yeah. Um, and we've chosen, we think, the name, but shh, secret, yeah. Cheers, Artie. Thanks, Thank mate. You. All the best. Yeah. Only five. Um, <laughs> that's all right, a half each for Archie and Jess. Uh, yeah. <laughs>
Apparently his sole ambition is just to chase ducks all day. Two dogs on board that uh, are of the same volition. <laughs> 